it is still wonderful to see what God has made and what God does. Um, and this kind of, this devotion kind of goes along with that. Um, I want to read a couple, start out, I've got several scriptures here, but I want to start out in Psalms chapter uh, 69, verses 30 and 31. It says, I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or bullock that hath horns and hooves. And we know in the Old Testament times that uh, they had to offer sacrifices. God ordered them to do this. <clears throat> and there were several different sacrifices. There was burnt sacrifices, drink sacrifices, food sacrifices, grain, friendship, meat sacrifices. There were several different sacrifices you could do for several different sins. And uh, they, did the, they did the sacrifices for an atonement. And uh, like I say, God had ordered them to do this. But this is in Psalms. This is whenever all burnt offerings and uh, sacrifices were still going on. It says here that God is more pleased with the song and more pleased with thanksgiving than he is with a sacrifice. So we fast forward up to Jesus. Jesus came. Jesus died for our sins. He was our ultimate sacrifice. Should we still praise God with the song? Should we still praise God with words? And the answer is yes, absolutely. Um, over in uh, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15, it says, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. That's right. Absolutely, we should offer sacri or offer praises to God because He was our ultimate sacrifice. Um, you know, we think of uh, the children of Israel when God led them out that they were the, His chosen people. Well, we are His chosen people. We were chosen by God, and uh, if we have accepted His uh, His grace, His His uh, salvation. We should praise him, and we should uh, offer thanks to him continually. Um, in the mornings, in the evenings, um, whenever you're speaking, you know, whenever you're talking to somebody and, and uh, you work in the, the phrase about God, you work in what God has done for you and how, how God is living in your life or how you're living in God's life. and um, That's praising God. That's letting him have the glory for what you've done, what he's done in your life. Um, you know, you praise him with prayer. You know, we pray continually, pray all day long. Um, praise him with, with words of loving kindness. I mean, you know, just telling, telling people how great he is. And, uh, you know, we praise him with song. But we don't want to get caught up into the the ritual of you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to praise him and I'm going to raise my hands because somebody's looking at me. You know, I, I want to look like I'm praising God. That's, that's, that is not what we're here for. If we are truly a Christian, if we're truly wanting to please God, truly wanting to do what God wants us to do, we praise him with unconditional praise, unconditional love, just, you know... Um, not wanting other people to, to look at us and say say that he's a Christian. We want them to look at us look at him and say he's a Christian because of how we live all the time, not at one specific moment. So uh, so remember this. Remember that that God wants us to praise him. He wants us to give him thanksgiving. And uh, whenever we sing, whenever we uh, talk, whenever we tell others how great God is, we're giving him praise. So, uh, like I say, remember that this week and tell somebody how, how God is, is so good and how God works in your life and, and praise his name.